Welcome to this video, great to have you on board. In this video, I wanna share some personal thoughts on Angular versus React versus Vue. Because I get these questions a lot, which framework should I choose? Is Angular better than React? What should I learn? And I try to answer some of these questions by sharing my thoughts on it. Now, a little bit of advertisement right at the start if you are interested in diving into a very technical comparison, having a look at the performance and so on, and want to get an introduction to each of these three frameworks, I created a course about that which you can buy on Udemy. You don't have to though, I will also share my thoughts here, my personal thoughts as mentioned. Let me start with Angular, and with Angular I mean Angular 2 or now 4, the latest version of Angular therefore. What do I like about Angular? I like the general concept of Angular. I like the modularity. I like the way we use components with modules. I like that we use dependency injection, how that works. The high level of control we have, I also like that. I like that it's easy to add routing or form validation, that we have this all in one package, even though I know it's technically split up over multiple packages, but it's easy to add form validation and so on, for example. I know that this can also be confusing for newcomers though, that might be a disadvantage. Another advantage I see for Angular is just that it has this very successful first version, Angular 1. It's still getting used a lot, it is very popular and a lot of web pages use it. Angular 2 in theory at least is better than Angular 1, faster, better performance, so that should be a big advantage in the future. However, I will also say that the Angular team messed some things up during the development of Angular 2 mostly. Their communication wasn't that great and they also gave me a shot in the back when they changed something in release candidate phase. And just so you know, release candidate normally means we don't make any breaking changes to the API in general unless it's absolutely needed. And I guess it was absolutely needed, but still. Everyone was relying on some continuity, I guess, and they made breaking changes, very breaking changes to Angular multiple times. And again, the communication wasn't that great. It was like new release, breaking change, here you go. And I think that really destroyed some trust or some people really don't trust Angular and the team behind it anymore because they fear that when they create an app with Angular, it's going to be useless in one year because Angular 5 or 6 or 7 or whatever is coming out and will render everything deprecated or, well, useless, uh, what they wrote. And that is a problem. Now, I don't believe it's going to be like that. The Angular team is saying that they will do their best to provide backward compatibility. They will also release long-term stability releases, so releases which will get security updates for a longer time. Still, they will have to prove this, and that is definitely something which gives Angular a harder stand than it would need to have due to its very famous history with the Angular 1. Now, one other thing Angular introduced, which certainly isn't liked by everyone, is TypeScript. Now, I like it. I believe it leads us to write better code. It forces us to write better code, and that is good in itself. However, if you have a vanilla only, uh, excuse me, a JavaScript only background, adapting to TypeScript can be challenging. If you, however, already knew languages like C Sharp or Java or any other language which uses types and interfaces, you won't have that hard of a transition. And since I do have that background, I really like TypeScript. As mentioned, I think it allows us to write better code. Now, that's it for Angular, and of course you could say way more, but that is what I like and don't like about Angular. Now, how does it compare to React and Vue? To answer this, let's have a look at, let's say, React next. I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of React, and that's just a personal thing. React is a great framework, and if you like it, definitely go for it. Nothing bad about it. We see it being used by Facebook, obviously, and a lot of other companies too. It is a framework which has proven itself. However, I don't like it that much. I do know it, I create some projects with it, but I'm not the biggest fan of React. Whenever I had to use it, I really had to force myself because I don't like the general idea. In theory, I would like that we use JavaScript for everything, but in practice, 
that JSX thing just isn't my style. And not because I don't like mixing HTML and JavaScript. That wouldn't be my problem here or not my main problem. The problem I have is that since JSX is just some syntactical sugar to write HTML with JavaScript, we can't use normal HTML there. This is why we have to use class name instead of class if we want to assign a CSS class. I understand why that is, but I don't like it. We have HTML, we have CSS. Why would we start writing everything in JavaScript and sacrifice all the features HTML and CSS, their native versions, give us? I don't get it, I don't like it. So that's just my opinion though. You may like it, a lot of people like it. Not my style though. And I think it's due to this strange mixture of JavaScript and wannabe HTML that it can be really hard to learn and master React. It's easy to create your first components, but really writing correct React code and understanding how everything works together, how you loop through a couple of elements and output a list item for each, for example, definitely is challenging for newcomers. And that per se is not a bad thing. Angular certainly is challenging too. But the overall idea behind React really has to connect you. If that's the case, there's nothing wrong with it. And it's a great framework, one of the most popular ones right now. And if Angular 2 should fail to follow Angular 1's path, React might very well be the king of the framework, so to say. But again, the reasons I mentioned might be reasons why you might not like it too. And again, that's just my opinion. Now, how does it compare to Angular then? Well, React has one advantage, obviously, it uses JavaScript. However, typically ES6, so you will still have to learn ES6 and you will have to learn how to set up a development environment where you can use ES6. But still, that might be easier than learning TypeScript. So I guess that is definitely something made which makes it easier to get into React and work with it. Additionally, a lot of the optimization stuff you have to do with Angular, offline compilation and so on, doesn't have to be done in a React app because everything is JavaScript already. On the other hand, since we have a clear separation between HTML and TypeScript, for example, in Angular, you can use normal HTML code when writing your templates. You can't do that in React since you use JSX, which is just JavaScript in the end. And it's that general idea of using templates and the logic in an extra file or in the TypeScript code in general, or mixing everything, which may really not be your style or you may prefer one of the two styles. For me, it's clearly Angular's style. React also doesn't bring all the features Angular brings. You have to add an extra router, which is developed by the community. You have to add extra form validation packages. That's all possible. But since for Angular, all these things are developed by the Angular team, you have a higher chance of these packages getting regular updates and working with the latest version of Angular. For React, that might not necessarily be the case, though I will say that React has a very active and vibrant community, so chances are high you will find the packages you need. You could of course say more, and if you got something to share in general related to anything of that video, definitely leave it in the comment section. So what else might we have a look at when comparing React with Angular? Well, we could have a look at the job perspectives that will in general be equal, though we have to be careful. Angular 2 and Angular 4 are relatively new. So definitely right now there are more jobs available for React than they are for React and for Angular 2, for example. What about performance? Well, there are lots of ways to measure that. Again, I can only point to the course I mentioned at the beginning of the video. You can also have a look at a benchmark I linked here in the video description, where you can run your own benchmark with some predefined tests comparing these frameworks. And for what may we use these frameworks? Well, for Angular, for example, we're pretty much limited to creating single page applications. You can't just drop it into your full stack or multi-page application and try enhancing the individual pages. That's not what it's made for and it won't be a great app if you try to do that. With React, however, that is definitely possible. Whilst you can create single page applications with the two, and whilst you might argue that the focus is kind of shifting to that, 
you can definitely just drop in the React and React DOM imports into some HTML page, some existing view of your backend, so to say, and start using React features on that view without having to create a fully fledged single page application. So that might be an advantage if you're looking for that ladder functionality, enhancing your full stack app, then React might be your choice. So that's it for React versus Angular. How about Vue? I like Vue.js a lot. For me, it's a bit like if React and Angular had sex and we really have a great framework there with a lot of great ideas from both other frameworks from Angular and React. Vue.js isn't perfect, of course. It still has things which are which you might not like, but what I do like about it is you can use ES5 and it will be absolutely fine. You can use ES6 and it will be great. You can use TypeScript, though it's a bit harder, but definitely doable to set up and not that hard anymore, to be honest, but you, you can use all these free languages and pick the one you like the most. We have a separation of template and the JavaScript code, which, as you already heard in this video, I like. It allows us to use normal HTML, normal CSS and JavaScript to connect all these things. It is very lean, just like React, but unlike React, a router, for example, is provided by the view team, which is great because again, we have that argument that we probably will receive timely updates. In general though, it's also kind of like React. There aren't a ton of packages shipping with Vue. You will have to bring a lot from the community. For example, form validation is something which isn't built into Vue. You will have to get a package for that. And that again leaves you open to the same disadvantages we had for React, that you have to rely on the package offers updating their stuff and so on. What you also might not like is that it is or it can get very much code in bigger projects. Let me put it like this. We don't have dependency injection stuff like that. And therefore, it, it, it doesn't have a as streamlined concept or as, as modular concept, let me put it like this, as Angular has. It has a great concept and you can write modular code. You split your code over multiple files. We have Vuex for state management, uh, official package, all great. But when it comes to certain things, Angular might still be the framework which allows you to write a bit more lean or focused code, you could say. On the other hand, that might not really matter for you because maybe you're not writing the next super big enterprise level application or you are doing that. And of course you can still find ways to manage your code. When we have a look at performance, again, there are thousands of ways of measuring that. Have a look at the benchmark I mentioned earlier, linked in the video description. What about Vue versus React? Well, if we have a look at Vue and React, they are very similar in some regards. We have, again, this clear separation between template and JavaScript and Vue, though. We have two very lean frameworks. And for me, the reason why I like Vue.js more really is that separation of templates, CSS code, and JavaScript code. That is really, for me, the tipping point, I guess. Uh, maybe combined with the fact that we have an official state management package, Vuex, and an official router. These are reasons why I really like Vue. Vue Chess also has a very vibrant community, a very active community, very friendly community too, and it has a great documentation. I have to give it that. It has the best documentation of all the free frameworks. If you compare it to the Angular or React docs, you will know why a lot of people love learning Vue.js. It's just awesome. It makes it very easy to get started. It gets a lot of things right. One major disadvantage certainly is that it doesn't have the backing Angular or React have. Angular is backed by Google, developed by Google, and React obviously by Facebook. Vue.js by even you, great guy, ex-Google employee, but no big company. Vue.js 2, which is the most recent version, is also pretty new and we have way less jobs available for Vue than we have for React and Angular. That might change though, of course, because it is a great framework and if more people are picking it up, more companies will start adopting it and we will have more jobs. 
And especially in the Asian market, we have great companies like Alibaba using Vue.js already. So I think there is light on the horizon, but right now it's definitely worse. From a job perspective though, that's important. If you have a look at the GitHub activity, GitHub stars and so on, you will see that it's very popular already. So that was me just rambling about all these frameworks and which one you might choose and how they compare to each other. And again, just my thoughts. Your thoughts might differ. Maybe you got things to add. I'd be very interested to hear your thoughts. Please share them in the comment section.